let's go ahead and get into the reading so like i said we're going to do a, a full moon spread what i calling and using six cards to start and i'm going to have lots of cards to clarify that with then after that i will use the spirit animal cards to um, give us even more information now i don't know if you've tired if you're tired of this by now or not but i'm doing one more time at least one more time for a while the uh, bonus reading for the career and life oracle because this is the capricorn form full moon and capricorn is pretty well focused on career and ambitious things like that so i figure one more time with the career oracle deck would be good so for now let's go ahead and do our full moon spread for taurus thank you spirit what does taurus need to know at this time let's go ahead and shuffle the main way the old the good way there we go get it nice and messed nice and mixed thank you thank you spirit all right let's do for taurus taurus very beautiful sign fixed earth ruled by venus beautiful sign okay here we go so what have you created since the new moon let's look at this and where you are now and what are you becoming aware of all right what do you need to notice all right so here we have i have your crystals here um okay the high priestess major arcana here for taurus this is what you've created since the new moon this is pretty interesting you must have developed your intuition since then you've grown in spirituality and you're you have unlimited potential that's what i'm seeing here for you taurus right now this is a lot of growth it's a great it's a good accomplishment um it's a it's a powerful place to be is um let me see what else i could say about that well, it's definitely intuition we talked about that wisdom and understanding involved here also creative power from internal sources being able to um being able to know what's right for you that's another good point about this card and this growth that you've and this shift that you've made or it's a good thing to celebrate to appreciate your your gifts and how far you've come there where are you now okay you, are you in hermit mode another another major arcana for you taurus so being in hermit mode is is a is a uh, um, a a time of meditation, seclusion, understanding your inner self, soul searching. This is where you are now. Yeah, so it's a it's a time to develop your inner wisdom and to be alone with your your spirit and yourself your higher self yeah contact contacting your higher self is good right here in this situation and what are you becoming aware of or what should you know right now oh wow look at this beautiful three of cups so be aware of knowing that you're you're manifest you are in a bounteous time you should celebrate you should be aware of the love that uh, that you have with your you know with others um, it's a sign of good things to come right here 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab this other deck and clarify and con clarify them a little bit more. Confirm anything that we can confirm for Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. And thank you so much. What else do we have for Taurus at this time? All right, so the first card, the first uh, space, um, what you have created since the new moon, it, you, you developed this intuition, this inner knowing, this spirituality, this growth, um, this confidence in your own abilities and talents and your own knowing. And so now you're ready to spread your wings and fly to take the leap of faith, to be another, look at this, three major arcana so far, and we've only looked at four cards. Such a powerful new change is about to happen. This new moon, especially so powerful, is changing everybody. We're having a lot of shifts, a lot of major shifts going on right now. And for you, it looks like you're taking this time and hermit mode in self-reflection, meditation time. And when you come out, you're going to be ready to spread your wings and fly. You're anticipating a new beginning, a, um, a new start, a fresh start, a, and a place to take the le leap of faith, Taurus. It's not in your nature to want to change things or go after, um, you know, anything with a lot of risk involved, but you're having this, uh, you're having this change of heart. You've grown to this point. You've overcome those uh, self limitations. And now you're getting to the point of using your intuition and your, your knowing that spirit has your back to be able to take this leap of faith into the unknown, into the future of change and, and uh, potentially a lot of stability, I mean, a lot of uh, stability and prosperity for you. Okay. Um, so with this, we're, this is indicating where we are now. And the hermit is clarified by the Ace of Cups. So if you open up your heart and receive the emotions around you, so you're, this is an amazing amount of blessings, new beginnings with love, lots of love and unconditional love, new feelings, new friendships, new beauty, pleasure, self-love, taking care of yourself. And that's another thing you can do when you're in hermit mode is taking care of yourself, loving yourself. Be preparing for this new beginning with love, with great open heart love. Bound, I mean, just pouring out the love from spirit is coming to you, Taurus. What a powerful message here so far. Beautiful Venus, love, gorgeous new experiences coming your way um, and this is what you're becoming aware of the three of cups is clarified by the empress oh wow another beautiful beautiful card venus your sign be happy with the results of your actions you have happiness joy pleasure self-love look at this gorgeous gorgeous cards here um Nurture, self-love. Self-love is here twice, three times. Paying attention to the, the joy and happiness in your life. Loving the people, celebrating, being happy, being creative, making your dreams come true, unlimited potential. 
You have so much going for you, Taurus. This new beginning that you're about to experience is, is going to be very, very satisfying for you. No doubt about that. Okay. All right. Now we've looked at um, what we are looking forward to, basically. Uh, what we have so far. What we've gained. Let's look into some of the things that we want to release at this time. You know, when you let go of something, you're making room for something better to come in. So remember that. Um, so what is it? What is it time for you to surrender right now? That's what we're going to find out here. It's time for you to surrender. You've got the devil. That's another major arcana. One, two, three, four, five major arcanas with seven cards out wow major change the devil okay don't worry about him he's not going to hurt you okay this is capricorn energy this is the capricorn moon here the capricorn moon is telling you to let go of the things that are limiting you this is probably limiting thoughts limiting beliefs things that Things that could be taking up your, sucking up your energy. Is little things like, um, could be some habits that you have. Or, you know, you could even call them an addiction if you want to. Um, it's um, the feeling of being enslaved or in bondage to something. Being trapped by something. There's nothing holding you back though. These, these chains are loose enough that you can release them for yourself. So this is what uh, Spirit says. It's time for you to surrender whatever it is holding you back. And the one thing that may be holding you back is the idea of possi what's possible. Okay. So, uh, Taurus, you may be feeling like there's a limit to what is possible. But this devil card is telling you, to release those limiting beliefs whatever because you can have whatever you want you know you can have that but the devil is saying the devil uh card is trying the the, the that energy is going against that making you feel like there's a limit or the limit that you're setting is a lot lower than what it can be. So try to release those self-limiting beliefs. Okay, that's that's what we're I'm getting here. And how can you let go of them? How can you let go of the things that are no longer um, helping you anymore? Well, this card says it has the Seven of Cups. So the way to let go of your limiting beliefs might be just to examine your options. Look at your options a little bit. Um, you're in hermit mode now. Uh, you know, look at these options with love. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of unknown things. There are some things that, that are risky here. There's some victory here. There's some, there's some, riches there's a sand there's like a house built of, upon sand that that may not be the best choice there's a person here there could be a person to choose there could be something you know mysterious here there could be something uh, you know potentially dangerous here and that's the kind of thinking that i think taurus might have uh you know they're kind of they, they want stability. They want permanency. Um, they also have, you know, like Venus, they're passionate. They want beauty, sensuality. Um, but you have choices. You have options. And these options are going to help you to let go of the limiting beliefs. You know, think about what your options are. You know, don't... Um, you know, just look around and see what's available to you. It's more than what you think. That's what I'm, I, I feel. It's more than what you think. Um, so how is Spirit supporting you? What resources does, does Spirit have for you 
to help you to release those things. Well, it's inviting you to look at things. Use that intuition you have here, okay? You grew this for a reason. And now it's time for you to go inside yourself. Be that hermit, which you're already doing. Look inside your heart. You know, you're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself mentally. You're weighing your options, perhaps. But Spirit is saying that instead of just thinking you only have this choice and that choice, there's actually a third choice. And just look inside. Look inside yourself. Being in that hermit mode helps you to do that. Putting on your high priestess energy helps you to do that. Your intuition will guide you and teach, show you another option. Okay? So you have these options here. You're asked to make a choice to take the time out, first of all. Take the time out rest, think about it, choose the best way for you to get past your hurdles, to get past your limiting beliefs. Um, so it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you might be thinking, well, I can do this or I can do that. And then what, what am I going to do? And I have to just sit and think about it. I have to block, I have to just consider, but you know, don't forget that there is a third cho choice. There are fourth choices. There are fifth choices. There's seven choices here, not just two or three. Okay. So just to get clarification and just to get uh, confirmation, I'm going to go ahead and uh, find some more information, get some more information from Spirit with this other deck for Taurus at this time. Spirit for Taurus. Mm -hmm. I better do it the other way because if they need to come out again, they will. I need to get it on the right cards. We'll let that one be where it's at. It did land on one. Okay, here we go. All right, so to clarify what it's time for you to surrender, the devil is clarified by the Ten of Wands, okay? This is another, this is good. This is, um, so this is a burden to you. These limiting beliefs are burdening you. They're holding you back. Um, there's, there's a lot of stress in, in this. There's, um, frustration and pressure in in these limiting beliefs i think that you have and um <clears throat> this card is also saying that there's always another way to do something just like i was saying here there's another way it's more than just one or two or three ways there's there's another way and you have the choices you can get out of that um blockages or something holding you back there a limiting beliefs is what I feel like it is with that devil card. Okay. And so how can you let go of what is no longer for you? The seven of cups is clarified by the ten of swords. I think you got that last time too. The ten of swords says it has ended and finished for better or worse. So the ten of swords is basically saying that... Um, that the end of a hard time is over. And that's going to help you to let go of this limiting beliefs. Is if you can accept the fact that, that that's the past. You don't have to do that anymore. You've got, you've got the Ace of Cups. You know, this is what you need to open your heart to and to receive the unconditional love from spirit, the, the blessings, the all around you, the blessings and blessings. Look at this. So many blessings you have. So let go of this limiting stuff. Let go of the things that uh, maybe it's a repetitive thought in your head. Maybe it's something you're telling yourself that you're 
not good enough or that it's too hard to do this or that or something like that. Um, you know, it's time to let that go. Look at your options. This is over. The past is over. The pain is over. It's time to get better, to recover, to start new, to, to uh, take advantage of the blessing that the man is holding here uh, in his hand. And look at your options. Explore the options. See what you have available to you lots more than you thought. And as far as resources, as far as help from the other side, what you have, the Two of Swords is clarified by the Two of Swords again. Oh my goodness. I This is un, unreal. Wow, that's incredible. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Your inner voice, Taurus. Your inner voice. The High Priestess, you have this. You've had this in the bag. That is incredible. This whole reading has been incredible. Listen to your inner voice when making these choices. Okay. You have strength through suffering. And peace is restored here. You, have, you can have peace. All right. Justice, peace, balance. This is yours. Wow, Taurus, I am just blown away at, at this powerful reading here. That, that was just incredible. It always amazes me. It always amazes me when I see things like that. It's just wild. Okay, all right. So now that you have that information, I'm going to go ahead and get some more information from the spirit animals. They're going to help us a little bit more with what we need to know for our highest good. I appreciate you, Taurus. Thank you. I appreciate Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit, for helping this reading. Okay. All right. Here we go. Wow. Wow. I can already tell. Reflection. Look. The hermit. You are in hermit mode. The giraffe. The giraffe. Reflection. If you are facing a difficult situation, do not rush into making a decision. This is it. Take your time out. Listen to your inner voice. Okay. You are advised to turn the problem around in all possible manners before deciding on a solution. Your circumstances need to be examined carefully. All right. Very good advice for you right now because apparently you're going to have to decide what, you know, you're going to have some options here in front of you. Make sure to th take the time to reflect, be in the hermit mode. Take the time to reflect and think about everything. I know you will, Taurus, because you... You care so much about doing the right thing and your values. All right. Panda, boundaries. Your space is sacred. Guests who overstay their welcome impact your aura, and you have every right to stand your ground. Your needs are important. You must nurture your soul with the same gentle love and support you offer to others. And that's where you get the Empress and the Ace of Cups coming in. Okay. And, and celebrating with the guests that you love, you know, just make sure you maintain those boundaries so that no one uh, can, you know, bring you down in any way, shape or form. The Antelope, decisive action. You are being told unequivocally, unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action toward making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you. Trust your instincts here. Okay. I think this is in uh, relation to this new moon manifestation period. Or not the new moon, but the full moon. You know, this is a powerful time to make a miraculous kind of request. Um, so, you know... Um, Set your intention 
for what you really want to manifest. Set your intention for long-term goals. Uh, set your intention for something that as well during this time for something that, that you want to come into your life immediately. You know, whatever you feel called to do, take that time and make the, um, make the decision about that. But as far as decisions about your options going forward, um, the advice here is clearly to listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner intention. I mean, intuition, uh, your inner wisdom is going to help you to decide on how to move forward. And don't forget to let go of your limiting beliefs, please. Okay, well, um, that was a pretty, pretty intense reading, I think, Taurus. I'm going to clear this uh, away for now so that we can do that bonus reading with the um, career and life oracle cards you've seen them before if you've been here before um but like i said i'm going to do them again with um i'm going to do them again for the capricorn for the capricorn full moon that we have and let's see here let's set Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get that mini reading here for you, Taurus. All right, for Taurus, what, what do we have for career and life energies? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else for Taurus? All right, there we go. That's actually four. We're going to do these. Here we go. Okay. Unfolding. Access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly. You are growing as you learn more and keep expanding. Okay. You have the future. Plan for the future while living in the present. You are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. Okay. Taurus. Short term. This position is temporary, so don't be too attached to it. No worries. You will find something that's even more fulfilling and prosperous. Okay. And one more. Manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. Uh, where did I see that? Uh, I'll think that was here. You are being told unequivocally that it's time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action toward making your dreams a reality. You have a door in front of you. Trust your instincts here. Those are similar, similar messages there, kind of confirming it. So thank you, Taurus. That was pretty, pretty amazing. I really enjoyed that reading. Um, I hope you did too. Um, I'm going to, um, yeah, move on, I guess, for now. I, I really did appreciate this. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I did make it a little bit easier to do that by adding an end screen. Uh, so that you can, if you're watching on television, on a television screen, you can just navigate right up to it and click on the subscribe button. So it only was going to cost you that little bit of effort to do that. But for me, the, the, uh, it would be a tremendous boost. And, uh, I really would, I really do appreciate that so much. Um, also your likes and your comments really help me to get better and better. I, I, I love each and every one of them. I will never take them for granted. Um, so I want to thank you again for all that you do. I want to hope that, wish that you have a very blessed uh, and beautiful coming week and month. And so that's going to be all for now. Um, I really love you. Thank you, Taurus. Love and light.